Gloria, it's a very it? fine line, isn't it? Yeah. Because if you push your children away by saying, I don't like this person, I'm never having them in my house, then you run the risk of losing your child and, and the future, possibly grandchildren. So it's a very fine line. Now, in my case, Karen, actually, looking back, was bliss because mm -hmm. there was nobody really whom I didn't like, mostly mm -hmm. university people she'd met or whatever. And when she finally married Ross, I knew that Ross would look after her. Yeah. And so, in fact, I, I kind of was thrilled with that. But then I look back on my own life from my time in Northern Ireland. Of course, we are going back to a different period of time and it's been very much in the news of late, the whole Catholic Protestant issue. And I, I fell in love with a man who was Catholic and I was Protestant. And my father, do you know what an Orangeman is? You know, they yeah. march on the 12th of July. So he was a very staunch Orangeman. So when I, uh, I was a bit afraid, really, to... Well, that would have been a massive It was yeah. a massive yeah. choice on my was. part, it mm. was. And when I introduced my dad to Don, he was a very, very nice man, I kept saying, but he's an English Catholic, he's not an Irish Catholic, because there is a kind <laughs> of... Make a difference. <laughs> in, ..in dedication, <laughs> there is, really. Um, but what, what my, my father was very principled, but I admired his principles, even though I was young. I admired him. And he said he couldn't come to the wedding just couldn't come. Oh, no, and in those so days, Macho Ireland, he wouldn't allow my mum to come either. Oh. And, it and she, she wouldn't have gone against her She wouldn't have gone against her husband in those days. Oh. But he allowed my sister to go and allowed my brother to go. Uh, and although you would think that I would have been... Of course, I was heartbroken by that decision. But what I admired my dad for, he said to Don, we first met him, if you decide to get married, and I don't approve, uh, because you are Catholic, but I promise you, you'll be like a son to me the day you get married. And he stuck to that. So I admired him for that. Yeah. So he worked it round to him and they got on famously. And there, was no, there would have been no persuading him then, Gloria, even if you'd have cried and said, Dad, please, and I want my mum there no, as well. No, he was so, so principled, but I knew that. And, and because, and it's a strange thing to say, but because I was so young, but um, I admired his principles and I knew his principles mm -hmm. and I knew that he wouldn't change his mind. Well, the good thing is, like you said, it didn't cause a rift in the family, did no. it? Oh, that... No, it didn't. And yeah, but it could have done, you see. It does with a lot of cases. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. Of my mum 